I'm Dr. Harley, I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon. I'm Dr. Osterk, I'm a neurosurgeon here at Penn Medicine. And today we're going to be talking about adult spinal deformity. When people think about scoliosis, they usually think of younger patients, but in fact it's extremely common in, in adults. A lot of these uh, are non-surgical and they're asymptomatic, uh, but many can progress and become uh, very painful and, and they are amenable to surgery. People older than 70 years of age had a 70% chance to have a 15 degree scoliosis. So I have lots of people around us who uh, have a scoliosis that's very common in the adult population. If it progresses, uh, oftentimes past the curvature of 30 degrees, 40 degrees, it can be very painful, um, leading to a curve of the spine and sometimes with a patient listing uh, towards one side. There can also be deformities in the uh, sagittal plane, which Dr. Arlay can tell us about. Yes, yeah, so we, we see a number of uh, patients who have uh, what we call a flat back. That means they are not able to stand up straight and they uh, stand up stoop forward. They, they cannot uh, uh, stand up straight and this is very uh, painful, very demanding on the back. We have another category of a patient we see uh, quite often. This patient who had uh, multiple spine surgery done elsewhere and uh, whether the surgery didn't address the initial problem or whether the surgery got complication or whether it's a natural history of the aging process, uh, they need to address this new problem so to relieve their pain and, uh, and get them uh, uh, straighter um, with a better balance. As the uh, spine gets older, the disc uh, lose some of the height they may collapse to one side, so causing a symmetry either to the side or forward. Uh, then you get a nerve uh, impingement, so the nerve gets uh, uh, pinched, to some extent creating spinal stenosis. So patients come with a uh, complex situation where you have uh, spinal stenosis and curvature of the spine. It's the price we pay for being upright after 70 years. People are living longer and longer. But as Dr. Arlay mentioned, it tends to be an asymmetric uh, degeneration of the adult spine, which can lead to a curvature of the spine, either to the side or forward, all of which can be um, uh, very painful. We have special x-ray machines here with our EOS machine, which takes a picture of the entire skeleton of the human body and it really lets us appreciate the alignment. We frequently get both CAT scans, MRIs, electromyography, uh, which is a, a clinical test that our neurologists help us perform, um, and most importantly, the clinical history and the physical exam. We have to put all these together to make sure that we're operating on a correct diagnosis. The one thing patients should know about this EOS machine is that the amount of radiation that's delivered with this machine is one-fifth. So that means uh, people who come to Penn to get these X-rays uh, have 80% less radiation than conventional X-rays done elsewhere. I think probably one of our biggest assets is the experience of the entire hospital and the team. From our anesthesiologists to our uh, electrophysiologists to our surgeons to the nursing care to the ICU care, um, I think we're all used to dealing with this and that's, that's probably our biggest asset. In the operating room, we have uh, the ability to monitor the function of the patient's nerves. So if we're doing anything to irritate the nerves or the spinal cord, we have immediate feedback. We have intraoperative CAT scanners, x-rays, a lot of safety mechanisms um, that are nice to have in place to make these operations safer. You should see uh, the OR at Pennsylvania Hospital where we have a huge number of spine surgery that are done every year. We're doing uh, more than 2,000 spine surgery every year. And uh, so whether it's the uh, uh, scrub tech was helping us out, the, the spine technologist was helping us out. Everybody knows how we work, everybody knows what their role, uh, and this makes the surgery uh, very successful, it uh, goes faster. Many places uh, we hear about surgery that lasts uh, 12 hours when we, we know we, we do them in six, seven hours here. I think this is the sort of surgery that uh, you, you probably would be ill-advised to have it in a place that does a few a year. Uh, we do at least several a week. And uh, the important thing is that uh, uh, patient expectations are real and we meet the expectation of the patient when we talk to them uh, so they can be happy uh, uh, when we've uh, done uh, the treatment or we operate on them. This is one of the rare conditions that I think that we can actually uh, call it a cure if done properly, if the spine is properly realigned. And it's extremely gratifying to see these patients back in my clinic. Oftentimes they, they give you a, a, a big warm hug and um, it's, uh, it's, it's very satisfying. If you need more information about our adult spinal deformity program, please visit the Pet Medicine website.